Hello guys and welcome to a very quick tutorial. This one is on how to replace the pull starter on a Vertex or a VX18 engine with a drill start. Now today, like I say, we're using a VX18 engine to demonstrate with. However, this process can also be used on most nitro engines. It's a very, very simple process and will take literally two minutes. Now, as you can probably see, I've already removed the engine from the car. It's very difficult to do this process with the engine fitted to the car. That being said, it's not impossible. Just on some cars, it's a lot harder to access these four screws, which is what we're going to be doing in a moment. On some cars, it's much more difficult to do this than on others. So, personally for me, I like to remove the engine first so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Now, the first thing you need to do, obviously, is actually purchase your drill start back plate and a suitable drill. Now, this is what the back plates look like. And they work very simply by this part on the rear turns your one-way bearing inside here is a few cogs and motors and on the front here this is where you insert your drill this is the kind of rod you're going to need for your drill start this end here goes into the backing plate this end here can go into your drill okay so let's get started so the first thing you need to do is remove the four screws from the back of the engine. Okay, so once the four screws are removed and put somewhere safe, what you need to do is slide off the pull start. Now, there is uh, a coiled spring under here, and if your starter has snapped, like mine has, don't be alarmed because sometimes when you pull this thing off, the coil may unravel. Now, in this case, we're safe. The coil has stayed safely in here. It's just the spring that snapped. So here's your old pull start unit, this is your recoil starter, this you can do whatever you want to do with it, personally I'm going to discard it because pull starts are a pain, and then you just need to take your new drill start back plate. This uh, nut here should be the same size as your one way bearing, so what you're going to want to do is slide it on and just make sure it fits. So once it's in place, you can see it's a good fit. You need to replace the four screws. Now, what you will notice is in this one, the screws need to travel a greater distance through the casing than they did on the pull start. You can see the pull starter is much thinner this is the gap it needs to travel through on this one. So, they've actually included some longer screws. These are the ones we're going to be using to mount the uh, drill start backing plate. Again, pull four. If you want to use uh, some Loctite or some thread lock, then go ahead. Okay, once these are in, let's tighten them up. Tighten them diagonally to do this one, then this one. And don't tighten them all the way. We do that at the end. see with that done, if I turn the engine over, you can see on the rear. 
So once that's done then guys, that's successfully done. What you'll do then when you're starting your engine is you'll take your rod, that will go into there, that will go into your drill, that will spin and that will start your engine like so. And that's all done. So with that in mind, all you need to do then is just replace this engine back into your car and you're all done. Thanks so much for watching guys and remember if this video has been of a help to you please of course hit a like down there and please subscribe down there for more RC videos and more RC action coming soon and if there's anything you do want to see in particular then please hit me up uh, with a message or an email or Facebook all of those links are in the description below take care guys and we'll see you in the next one